another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen, and right now we're gonna make some papitas. Roasted pumpkin seeds, did I say that right? Papitas, right? I really, really should learn Spanish. Okay, um, I have in my oven some sugar pumpkin baking so that I can make pumpkin pie, and I'm digging out my seeds, and I'm like, ooh, time to make some roasted pumpkin seeds. So, I saved them. So what I wanna do is separate the seeds from the rest of the goo. I like to call it the goo. I think it's technically called the membrane. I'm gonna look into it, but I wanna remove all that. Then I wanna run water over the seeds that are gonna be in a colander to get them really clean. And then I'm gonna let them air dry a little bit and then I'm gonna roast them. So here we go. You are just going to try and get as much of these out as you can. I don't know, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be a big batch. This was a sugar pumpkin, a small one. I was actually impressed with how many seeds were in here. Um, I wasn't going to do this um, with the pumpkin because I, I just looked at it and went, oh, there's not gonna be much in there. Just give it to the deer. But then I opened it. Separated it. <laughs> okay, so this is all you do. You just keep at it until you've got them all out and separated from the goo and then we'll go on to the next step. So I'll see you back here in just a few minutes, I hope. Okay, so I have about three quarters of a cup. Not as much as I thought. All the goo made it look like it was more. However, it's still gonna be a nice snack, and why waste it? So I have my three quarters cup of pumpkin seeds, and I have about two teaspoons of butter, and I'm just gonna put that in there. It's probably a little heavy on the butter side, um, but I like it. You can back off the butter if you want. It is salted butter. So I'm just gonna mix that in there and coat all of the seeds. And then I'm gonna sprinkle in, it's just a pinch of pink Himalayan salt and I'm gonna go conservative on that just because there was um, more butter because I thought there was more seeds. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it all, it all comes together. If I need to salt a little bit more when they're still warm, I can do that and they'll still adhere. So. We're just gonna spread these out, and I'd like for my pumpkin seeds to just be one layer on this baking sheet. There we go. I remember growing up eating these once in a while. It's a nice snack. You can also use them as toppings. People put them on salads. Um, I even saw a pumpkin cocktail of some sort that you topped with a pizza. I don't like my drink crunchy. So, all right, well, I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> okay, so this is kinda, as it starts to bake, it'll be easier to separate them because they'll start to dry out. So, oven, did you see that? No, you didn't, nothing happened. I'm gonna bake these at 300 up to 45 minutes, maybe even a little longer. The goal is they're gonna get nice and dry and golden brown. I'm gonna stir them around, shake the pan up, maybe every um, 10 minutes in the beginning, and then I'm gonna keep checking on them, because they can go from um, not done to burnt if you're not really careful, especially if you use too much butter like I did. I don't know if it's too much. I don't, I don't know, we'll see. It's an experiment today. It's really not, but I'm just gonna say that in case it gets messed up, then I can go back to it's an experiment today that didn't work. All right, I'm gonna get these in the oven. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, here we are. Finished roasted pumpkin seeds. I um, let them cool. Mm. I love how nutty and buttery and a little crunch to it. It's just a great little snack. I am just going to pour these into my little bowl here. It's a little bowl because it's a little bit of pumpkin seeds. Still yet, this will be a couple of snacks for me. trying to pour them in there without spilling them all over the place. I have one escapee so far. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. I don't think this last one that fell out is going fit in there. Such a delicious little snack. I hope you've enjoyed this video. From my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one bowl.